Shana, your voice back in last year, mm -hmm. how'd it go? Yeah, really well, much better than, um, than we expected actually. There was lots of support. The audience was a lot larger than we thought and the kids did an absolutely amazing job. All of the singers did the best that they could do, so it was really successful in that. Because the key part is, it's not X Factor, it's a learning curve. Do you feel the students learn? Definitely. We had one student who started and um, didn't want to continue. She didn't think she could, but she, she stopped. We let her do it again, and she was so proud of herself. She ended up winning um, a day in the recording studio as well, so it was an even bigger learning curve for her because she gained so much confidence from it, and she wants to do it again next time, and she'll probably do even better so there's a lot to be said though about the audience participation in that especially because the audience got her going again and they sort mm, of wheeled her on and you know she felt that you know nobody was judging her by what happened and she felt confident enough to go back out and do it again and you know it was she came on stronger and she was got learned a lot out of it her confidence grew by the end of the song it was it was fantastic and Joe, what, what do you feel, sorry, we're in a school, we're in St Clair's, but what do you feel you learnt from the whole experience? Um, we had quite a good backstage, you know, thing. I was up with the lighting and the, the sound and stuff like that. So it was good to be on the other side of it and linking in with Shana the whole time, making sure that the kids were okay. Was the sound okay from the audience? What could the audience hear? So that worked really well as opposed to leaving everything to the Thameside guys. We did it between us with their help, so it was quite good that we got that much involvement in it. And it did work really well, because we both knew where we were. And Shana, even though she was backstage, you know, boosting the confidence of the kids, I was the eyes out the front. It ran very slick as mm. well. Yeah. There wasn't any, any problems. Sound was perfect. The sound was really good. Yeah, so all in all, it went a lot better than we anticipated. We thought there were going to be a lot more sort of little hurdles that we'd have to, and hiccups. But in actual fact, we we sort of got over them as they, they rose, so it was really good. The kids were brilliant as well. They were so organised mm. and prepared and and they was raring to go, even uh, though they had their, yeah. their nerves before they went on, but no, they, they did good. So that was the pilot. Mm -hmm. When's the next one? 17th of February, but we're holding an open audition on the 29th of January. To just at St Clair's. At St Clair's School at 3 o'clock, um, just to see if we can kind of make it the next step now, make it a bit bigger get more people down, more people know about it, and then we'll kind of have a good... We good did give, at the end of the last Your Voice, we sort of preempted um, at the last minute, let's take some applications for the next one, and I think I printed 30, and we gave them all out, and we ran out by the end of the evening. So we're hoping, as long as we get enough publicity that people know that the open audition is taking place, that we'll be, you know, we'll, we'll have enough to run another couple of shows after, um, because the interest that was actually gained from the last Your Voice, um, and the people that we invited along, um, that we couldn't, you know, maybe didn't have the confidence to do the first one, but we invited along to see, that they could see how it was going to run and what it entailed. The interest of everybody that we invited along, didn't we, to sort of sit in the audience, they all wanted to take part in the next one, so I, I think it's just going to get bigger and bigger. Because different people are at different stages of their mm. musical development, also their confidence on their stagecraft. Yeah. Did a lot of people learn something about stagecraft when they were up there? Definitely. I think Mike's mm. skills, positioning in the lights. Yeah. We had a few um, situations of people walking out of the spotlight, <laughs> so <laughs> you'd get a nice dark head. But, mm. but no, I think Mike's skills as well, especially for a singer, is the next step. And not everyone gets the chance to kind of do that, unless they're on stage, so it's a good opportunity for them to do that. But... Um, but no. The really good thing as well, though, that they could actually, um, which is what we did, we did say in the, the run-up to the last with your voice, was that when they watched it back on your thorough, how they could see themselves and the amount of kids, especially the ones that go to St Clair's that I see on a daily basis, that actually fed back and said, oh my God, I didn't realise just, you know, how I stood when I was on the stage, how I sounded, how I came across, and I need to do this more. And they, they actually noted their self. The, the changes that they need to be made. They, they didn't need pointing out because they could actually see it for themselves. That's what the whole purpose of, of the recording is so significant, mm. I think, and something that we'll always do because it is um, an educational venture and to watch it back is the mm. only way that you learn. Yeah. You can't take that all in when you're on stage. You can't listen to yourself and kind of be mm. aware of how you sound and stuff. But no, it, it's definitely beneficial. Do you get things as well that students may like a song, they may feel they, they sing that song well, 
But in fact, actually, they don't sing that song well, and there are other songs which they could sing mm. brilliantly. Yeah, definitely. And mm. I think that um, with the open audition, we'll be able to advise mm. before the event, whereas some of the the, um, the kids that sung on the last event, I hadn't even seen before, Joe hadn't no. seen before. They just literally turned up and performed. And luckily, they, they did amazingly. Mm. But we would like the next one, with the help of the open auditions, we would like the next one to be more of a... Um, work on our part to work with them to sort of build them together and get their performance a little bit more polished before they come on the stage so I mean if we can work out what songs best suit themselves which is obviously where Shana will come in um, and advising on what their, their vocal range is and stuff like that, listening to them a, more of an advisory thing really so that they're better prepared um, and we can obviously make it bigger and stronger as we go along. We still really want to make the point that you don't have to be at a certain level mm. in order to take part. That it's not what it's about. You don't have to be. Um, you don't even have to want to do it as a career. Or but it's just a confidence building. And we want to take on people who need to learn in different areas for different reasons. So it doesn't mean that you've got to be the best of singers to take part or to even be put off. Everyone's welcome to mm. to come. No and matter what stage. More boys, More yes. boys, yeah, definitely. Definitely, and groups as well. We didn't have any groups last time, so it'd be nice to have a couple of mm. even duets or small, mm. small groups would be nice. And when you're saying groups, groups of singers, not, not groups with Yeah, no, yeah. not bands. Yeah. But, um, but Maybe yeah, we've got the next, uh, the next Take That or the next Spice Girls in Thurrock that you know, are just there hiding, waiting to come out, and hopefully we can bring that out of them.